hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the copy method in Odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorials so in this video we will be discussing about the copy method so the copy method will be getting triggered on duplicating a record so if i navigate to the any record like if i open the patient record and if i click on the action button you can see you have a action here called duplicate so on clicking that duplicate a new record will get created so if i click on save you can see we will have two grape test you can see you have grape test here and grape test and if i check apple test and if i click on duplicate it will create a new record you can see apple test and apple test so if i click on t2 and if i click on duplicate you can see a new tutu is getting create created that is on clicking the duplicate the diff copy the copy method will get triggered and copy the values from the current record and it will create a new record so let's see how we can overwrite the copy method in Odoo so what I'll do is that I'll navigate to the configurations menu and here we have the tags and recently we have added the unique constraints for the tags patient tag like unique constraint for the name so if I try to create a new tag with this name so i'll just remove this fff that is vip and if i click on save you can see we have one vip in the database and if i try to create a new tag with the same name that is if i try to change the name to vip and if i click on save you can see you are receiving a validation error that name must be unique which is coming from the sql constraints that we have added so if i go to the om hospital then to the models and patient tag.py here you can see we have added some unique constraints so that is why we are receiving this error so i'll just discard rather than creating what i'll do is that i'll try to duplicate this record so here we have the vip and if i click on duplicate you can see we are receiving error we are not able to duplicate this record so duplicate on clicking duplicate it will create a new record but the sql constraints is blocking that with the validation error so we have to overcome so once we add in a sql constraint it should not block the duplicate functionality so let's see how we can solve this by overriding the copy method in Odoo. So I'll go to the PyCharm and here we have the patient tag dot model. So we have to override the copy method of this model. So I'll go to the Odoo source code. Here we have the Odoo source code. And what I'll do is that find in path and I'll search for diff copy. So on clicking the duplicate button, the copy method is getting executed. So we are here we can see a lot of samples from different modules. So what I'll do is that I'll copy one among them. So I'll simply copy one among them. Let me take an example from a module. So let's take this sample from the project module. So I'll copy this, control C, and what I will do, I'll put the same inside the patient tag model. So here I'll paste this. Before SQL constraints, I have simply pasted the function that I have copied. So what I'll do is that here we have, you can see, I'll just remove the unnecessary codes first. So let me adjust some code and on supering a function here we have to give the class name so our class name is patient tag so return of super our class name dot copy of default so here what we will be doing is that so if i remove this if i remove this code simply what we have done is we have super we have just overrided the copy method of Odoo diff copy self comma default equal to none so this is the syntax and at api returns self lambda value value dot id so this is the syntax of the copy method 
and inside this what we will be doing is that let me control z so here you can see we have some code if default is none so here we will check if the default is none i will define default as a empty dictionary and here we will add a couple of codes so here you can see on copy method here in the default value we will be receiving the default values of a field so i'll check whether we have default value for name field if not so let me write some code and i'll explain what i'm doing so i'll just do like that so simply i have just added this copy function here and if default is none i just declared a dictionary with name default then i'll check if default contain a value for the name field if there is a default value for the name field i'm not going to perform anything if there is no default values what i'll do is that default of name so i'm setting a value for the name field so this default we will be passing into copy method so to this variable i'm assigning to the name field so here we have the unique constraint so default of name i'm changing percentage s so percentage s will be replaced by self dot name so it will be coming like this here self dot name will be coming over here in the place of that variable percentage s this self dot name will get replaced and along with that we are adding copy so if i simplify this expression it will be like self dot name plus a better understanding will be something like this like this self dot name plus along with the name i'll just add a copy and pass it to the copy method so let's see what happens so i have made the code like this and i'll just restart the service and i'll go to the ui and when i try to duplicate so i'll not upgrade the module and if i try to duplicate you can see we don't receive that warning of unique constraint and new record is getting created with name as vip plus copy so you can see the name has been changed so once the name is coming like this definitely user will change the name like test 345 like that user will change so if i duplicate adult so here we have a patient tag called adult and if i duplicate this you can see sequence must be zero so i'll change this that is also one unique constraint so if you need to override that also this card so let me take a sequence record with zero sequence so here you can see here we have the sequence as zero and here i have added sequence must be non-zero positive number so when i try to duplicate sequence must be non-zero positive number so inside the copy function what i'll do is that i will do like this default of default of sequence so here we have the sequence field i'll set default sequence as 10 and just i'll restart the service and i'll come to the ui and if i cl click on duplicate you can see it is coming like this sequence value is passed from here i'm passing value as 10 then to the name field what i'm passing is the name field of original record plus a copy here you can see a copy is added so i'll make it capitalized so i hope this expression is understandable for you so what i'll do is that i'll control z and i'll make it in the original format which is the better way of representing in python so i'll put like this this is same as what i have done so the self dot name will get a replace over here and this in underscore has been imported here so i hope you understood how we can override the copy method in odoo so now you may think what all values get duplicated suppose if i duplicate now you can see name sequence active everything is getting copied suppose if i need to prevent copying of 
some fields like if i don't need to copy active so here you can see if i need, don't need to copy active we can add copy equal to false we have an attribute called copy so by default copy will be true and if i didn't i don't need to copy this value to the new record you can simply add copy equal to false so for active i have just made copy equal to false so let me remove that so let me show you one thing so let me take an archived record active false so here we have vvip so if i duplicate that you can see the newly created record is also coming as archived active false so if i duplicate mr you can see mr copy is also coming as active false so i don't need to copy the value of active fields then simply add copy equal to false so let me restart the service and i'll upgrade as i have changed an attribute of the field so i'll go to the ui and i'll upgrade om hospital module so the module is getting upgraded and if i come back to the tags and i'll filter active false record and what i will do is that i will again duplicate this record if i duplicate you can see right now active is coming as true from it doesn't copy the value from original record instead it take the default value so here you can see if i duplicate vvip again or vvip copy if i duplicate you can see active is coming as true rather than false because we have set copy equal to false so once copy equal to false is set the value will not get copied and if you set copy equal to true the value will get copied while you duplicate the records so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubts feedbacks or suggestions don't hesitate to reach us over the email that is urumates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and follow us in GitHub also. So that's it for the day. Have a nice day. Thank you.